I'm Debbie Hamer Davis and welcome to the back of my car where we are showing you how to fit our most popular car seats in the back of an average car and um, this is very exciting this is the Axe Kid One um, it is a new seat for us it is uh, quite unique in the marketplace um, it's the only car seat on the market that is Isofix um, it's also Swedish Plus tested um, and it's suitable up to 125 centimeters. We do go into a lot more detail about how this car seat works in our uh, demonstration in store. So if you're watching on YouTube, um, just click the page and watch the other video which will show you how the car seat works. This video is primarily to show you how to fit it inside this back of a standard car because um, we find that at the moment we can't fit them in your car. So what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is extend the leg. Now, um, the leg is located at the back here and what I would generally recommend is that you put that leg down before you take it into the car. Um, I just didn't want to do that because I wanted to show you how to do it. So the first thing you do is pop the leg down. Um, I put my front seat forward into its furthest forward position in order to show you how to fit it because it does make life a little bit easier. And my isofix points in my car are very hidden. So they're right underneath the seat here. So if you have got a car, an older car, they can be quite difficult to find. You sometimes have to poke your fingers underneath. If you've got a modern car, generally they have little gaps and they're so much easier to fit. So to fit it in the car, what we're going to do is we're going to um, pull back the rebound bar. This is um, just on a tensioner and you just pull that back and that is so easy then to get to your isofix points. And what you do with your isofix is you click them in. Now I fitted a lot of cars seats in the back of my car and generally they are a little bit fiddly to do because my isofixes are quite buried uh, so that first one went on really easily the other one is a bit more deep seat but even that went on really really simply compared to some of the seats that we fitted that are a little bit more difficult so even in a car like mine it's very simple to do and if you have a look here now you can see that we have got a green light indicator um, to show that this is fitted onto the ice fix, you've got one each side. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tension the tension bar. Now I'm not sure that if you'll hear this in the back of my car because it's quite noisy outside, but it clicks as you do it. And when it's finally in its final position, you'll get a very loud click. Did you hear that? So that's a very loud click and that tells you that this is really tight really tight in the car and then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pop our leg down and our leg adjusts by this really handy button here now i generally remove the mats from the car and obviously if you are putting this in a car with underfloor storage you can't you can't do it basically so if you've got underfloor storage um contact us separately so this leg needs to sit on the floor of the car just like that and again here you will see there's a green lint indicator and the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my SIP. Now I'm going to do this on the side of the car that's nearest the door. And all you do, I'm going to show you on this side because obviously you can't see the other side, is you take that off and you clip it on like this. Oops, can't see what I'm doing. And it just clips into place. Obviously I'm going to fit that on the door side, not on this side because it wouldn't work otherwise. So I'm just going to literally take that cover off, pop it into place, and lock it on it's very very simple to do really really easy now if we want to adjust this seat in the car we've got our recline button here which is really easy to do there you go you can recline it and I just wanted to show you how well this does recline because it is phenomenally good and my car um, I don't know if you can see from the video does have quite sloping seats so the seats do tilt quite far back but you can actually recline this I don't know what the maximum uh, like angle is, we didn't check that, but it is very reclined. And you can adjust it, um, you can adjust it backwards and forwards, there's another little button on the back. Do check out the video in store, because it's easier to see on that video. So if you wanted to make it closer, depending on how much room you need, you can actually slide it backwards and forwards, and that will give you more room. Now this can be right up against your front seat, but actually in my car, that is almost, I think, is that max? I mean, look how much leg room that gives you. It's phenomenal. So this is the amazing Axe Kid One. Um, if you are watching on YouTube, do check out our other video of this in store. And if you are watching, do subscribe to our page. And if you click the button at the top, we'll send you our latest videos as we record them. Thanks for watching today.